guys doing out there? I'm Kenneth from Crystal H Technology Projector Screens using Smart Technology Game. I'm in here messing around a little bit with the uh, Quantum Light Physics. I'm sorry, Quantum Light Fusion. I had to really stop adding that in there. Quantum Light Fusion. And, you know, there's so much you discover when you work with different forms of chemicals. And now I'm kind of thinking like, with okay, with the Quantum Light Fusion chemical, I could actually produce a white projector screen that would probably be pretty good. I mean, bear with me on this one, right? So this right here is the surface that I coated with the um, the um, the quantum light fusion, right? And um, just to let you know that little weird piece right there that's actually in the screen over there. So I'm, I'm testing out the rear projector and I decided to take the 3000 lumen uh, short throw projector and put it uh, next to the screen. So with that being said, over here on this end, look how it looks. It's coated with the same chemical. It's coated with the uh, quantum um, uh, light fusion chemical. It's the same thing, but it's on a white surface. I never really thought about because I coated this with, with uh, um, the, uh, the, here's the thing about the uh, quantum light fusion. Um, it can be changed, the color can be altered and changed and every time you alter the color on this chemical it reacts a different way. So the other side is silver when this side is actually white. So I, I had an interesting idea, I would coat this side with silver of the, uh, of the, uh, uh, um, uh, quantum, sorry, quantum light fusion, and then on this side I would do a silver version of the quantum light fusion and figure out the two together would combine with a really nice uh, rear projector screen. But also in doing this, I realized that the white version of the quantum light fusion looks really freaking good. I mean, really freaking good. All right, so let me go here and start this really quick, this demonstration. It's just me doing some testing today. Just, just look at that. It looks really good. I'm really considering doing a white screen with the quantum, um, quantum light fusion. That looks really freaking good. All right, so let me go over here real quick. The demonstration was intended to be. All right, so this is the other end of the screen. And this is the, um, the rear projector screen I'm working on right now. So, plenty of light in here as you can see. And the screen looks amazing. Still needs more work though. And the guys are looking at it like it doesn't look very professional. It's cardboard. Well, usually when I do my prototypes, usually majority of them are made out of cardboard. You know, it's just a test demonstration to see exactly how the chemical is going to react and if it rea reacts well on this particular um on the surface I'm working with then the next thing is to find something a little bit more advanced and close enough to it that I can actually coat it with the chemical so it's just a test to see exactly if the chemical will allow the projector to punch an image through it but so far it looks really really good I mean, at 25%, I mean, it still needs a lot of upgrading, but so far, pretty good. And the angle looks amazing. So I looked online, I've seen that rear projector screens cost a lot of money, so that's the reason why I just wanted to step into that field too, because you know, might as well. I mean, since we have a chemical now, we can pretty much coat anything with. You know, I mean, might as well just step out and do rear projector screens. And um, interesting note, somebody asked if we can do a flatable projector screen. I'm definitely going to try that one. Of course, I'll probably be coating an air mattress with the chemical to see what would happen. But you know. Now it's going to look reversed on this way because I didn't get a chance to change over on the other end with the projector so everything is going to be the opposite mirror mode. But if you think about it, it looks pretty good. Alright, this is Kenneth from Crystal Age. I'd like to thank you.